Um, one more question. That's <laughs> I'm so right. glad I washed my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so shit this morning. I was going to wear a hat. And, and it's funny because every hairdresser I've spoken to about this says, I really love my job, but it's just so hard. I feel much happier. Um, and I feel re-inspired after leaving a company that I worked for for 22 years. It was a big decision to, to change and to come here, but I, I just felt lit up by the chapel and, and, and oh God, I hate to open this <laughs> Tell me the question again, we'll start again. So what's the difference between you from what you were a stylist and to now? Okay, so I've always been passionate about what I do, but I did feel like perhaps I'd lost some of my passion mm. and I was just doing a lot of haircuts. There was a lot of things that I, I wanted to be better. I wanted to be more professional and I don't feel like I was surrounded by the same, the people with the same sort of like, like mind as me. Mm. Um, so coming here, that's what I'm surrounded by. Everyone is 100% passionate about what they do. Everyone is really professional. There's no like backbiting or that horrible. I think I think the main thing that's different is the culture. Like working in an environment with such a great culture of nurturing. Like I have never experienced that in hairdressing before. It was felt like. Yeah, I, I never felt like cared for. I always felt like it was quite a vipey sort of um, environment to be in. So here, not only do I feel nurtured, but then because I feel nurtured, I give that more to my guests. I have more time with them. So I feel like, I feel like a better hairdresser because I've got the time to be a better hairdresser. And that makes me, I mean, I'm so happy at work. Just, yeah, I just feel relaxed and happy and cared for. And I give that to people and I feel like, I give the absolute best, so I feel like I'm living up to the passion that I have inside me. What's made you better, even better, even better stylist? Do you think? Um, I think the best thing that we offer here is one of the best things is having loads of space around me and not having people nattering either side of me. So that gives me the headspace to feel calm and create something mm. and I don't have the pressure of next one's in, next one's in because although I'm fully booked I have the time to do my job properly. Everyone is encouraged to have an opinion and your opinion counts and like everyone is valued and what you say isn't silly like people aren't going to laugh about you we can all have like a voice and not feel judged and there is and like just every, even things that we do that aren't hairdressing related are championed like with the art show and stuff so that's really good if you had to tell any sort of stylist right now what the fire in your belly is about being a hairdresser in this time what would it be is there anything i've always had fire in my belly about it. I've always loved it. Um, I suppose I'm really lucky because I've never doubted it. But um, I can really feel our value after lockdown. And I, I really feel that people really value us. And I think they realise, and we realise, what a difference we make to people's lives with them having mm. nice hair. Um, but yeah, I suppose I guess I'm really lucky because I've just always really enjoyed what I do. I don't want this to sound confrontational, but I'm going to say it. Um, it's, I think it's just been too long that hairdressers have been treated like, I don't want to say dog's bodies, but just like almost slaves to the trade, where they, it's all more about numbers and sales than being creative and doing what we actually do best, which is creating art and making people feel amazing. And I can't think of any other company that lets us work like we do here to get the best out of people. I've been a hairdresser for nearly 20 years and yeah, I've only truly been a stylist here. Like I completely mean that because so I wasn't given the freedom anywhere else to do it. I had to be the, I had to be very good at loads of things rather than really, really great at the things I'm very, very good at. I've never been so free to be the best that, until I came here because a lot of places you're overworked, underpaid, underappreciated, and just drowning. And 
now we and it's funny because every hairdresser I've spoken to about this says I really love my job but it's just so hard I've never said that here I love my job that's what I say here because I never get worked to the point where my hands are bleeding but and yet I'm fully booked all day every single day and I don't think I haven't been fully booked for months and yet it's such a beautiful lovely environment where I never ever get so tired and sick of it that you know I go home and get exhausted so I'm actually all I'm doing is doing my craft which I love and really enjoying every single day and have a beautifully fully booked column with guests I absolutely love which I've managed to build and I've been given the freedom to build my own column to tailor it to suit me and my personality which is just an absolute win-win so that's what I'd say that's really good I felt that see you when it's see yeah. when it's true it flows. it flows and it's your flow yeah and that's why I love listening to you oh good thanks so that's what I'd say about what needs to change about the industry and what you guys have managed to change about the industry and I hope it spreads in a way you know because um, this is the only place like I said I've ever worked where it's actually worked for you know my creative side and my work ethic side in a really harmonious way yeah that makes that's sense really nice yeah really nice but that's not what I've created, it's now what we, we're creating. That's what's really important. It's like, I'm not even there. It's like, yeah, I gave you this building because I learned that 10 years ago when I was on the floor every day. That's what I wanted to envision. Now you're envisioning it, it's your dream. It's like, yeah. so it's like, you know, we can take this to the next place now. That's true. You've definitely given us the platform though, haven't but you, Amanda? I gave you the platform, but now it, this is not my time now. This is definitely yours and everybody's. It's, it's you're responsible to take this to the next place and I think let's draw those people in that feel like you that want to be around people like you